Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Babes and Books Storytime. It's Miss Rachel and our friend George. We're so happy that you're here with us this morning. We want to sing good morning to all of you. And some of you indicated that you were going to be watching this morning, so we'll be sure to include your names. But if you are watching and you didn't let me know ahead of time, feel free to put your child's name in the comments. And um, if, if my eyes can squint enough up there to see it, we will certainly sing to you as well. We're so glad you're here. You ready, George? We're ready. Let's all clap, because Marin is here. Marin is here. Marin is here. Let's all clap, because Marin is here. Marin is here today. Let's all clap, because Max is here. Max is here. Max is here. Let's all clap. and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Buzz, 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 Tickly bees! Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Buzz, 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 buzz. Who's ticklish? Who's ticklish? I'm very ticklish. I'm glad George is not able to tickle me because then I wouldn't be able to do story time. I would be giggling so much. Let's do it one more time. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Buzz, 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 buzz. George said he needs a little break from all that tickling. Sorry, George. So we will take this chance to read our book today. It's called Jump. Look, we have some jumpers here behind me. See all the different frogs and toads? You might see a little jumping frog in this book too. It's about all kinds of things that jump. It's by Tatsuhide Matsuoka. I'm going to read it with you, read it to you with permission from the publisher Gecko Press. Now, if you are a child on a lap, you can be assisted in jumping by your grown up. But if you are on your own two feet, I hope that you will use them to jump. 
just like the friends you're going to meet in our book. And first, I might have to sneeze. Maybe not. Maybe later, we'll find out. Jump! A frog jumps. Boing! Can you jump up and boing like a frog? How about a kitten? A kitten jumps. Boing! Can you jump up and boing like a kitten? A dog jumps. Boing, 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 boing! Can you jump up like that crazy dog? A grasshopper jumps. Look at the beautiful wings and legs and tummy and antennae on this friend. A rabbit jumps, of course. Boing! Can you jump like a rabbit? A snail? A snail? Does a snail jump? Hmm, maybe not. Snails are not jumpers. What about mother and chick? Do mother and chick jump? Boy! Yes, they did. A fish can jump. Boing! That's called a flying fish because its fins look like wings and help it jump up out of the water. And I jump too. Now this is where, even if you haven't jumped yet, this is the one where you must jump. Boy, oy, 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 oy. Did you jump along? I hope so. Here's our little frog friend jumping away. Jumping is fun and good exercise. And all of those animals, except for the snail, know all about being good, active jumpers. Right? We are going to go for a little ride. George is going to sit on my lap. And if you're sitting on the lap, <clears throat> buckle your pretend seat belts. Let me tilt this down a little bit so you can see my lap. There we go. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, 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 a rough road. A rough road. A I saved George. Are you safe? Did you fall in the hole in that bumpy ride? Let's go again. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, 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 a hole. I got you, George. You're safe. Are you all safe? Climb up out of the hole. And let's go for one more ride. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a 
Now, if you don't have shaker eggs at home, that's okay. If you do, you get them out. If you don't, you can use a rattle. You can use dried beans in a water bottle or uncooked rice in a water bottle or any kind of uncooked grain. This is couscous or quinoa in a little plastic tub. Even peas you could use. I'll use my shaker eggs because I'm lucky to have them here. And while you're grabbing something, I will get our song ready. And I'm gonna take a sip of coffee so I can really be energized for our shaker song. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. you have a scarf you can get that out if you don't you can get out a cloth napkin or a tissue or a piece of toilet paper or a paper towel or a paper napkin or you can use a piece of clothing or you can use a bandana or you can use a scarf that a grown-up in your house wears to be fancy or if you have a scarf like our storytime scarves you can use that but whatever you choose we are going to pretend it's popcorn are you ready this is how we make the popcorn pop 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 put the corn in the pot 
Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Popcorn! 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 Pop, pop, pop. Put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Popcorn! 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 Let's make another pot. Get ready. Pop, pop, pop. Put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Popcorn! Popcorn! I'm trying to throw the popcorn at you. Popcorn! Let's make a really fast pot. Ready? Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it, shake it till it's hot. Open the lid, what have you got? Popcorn! 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 We're gonna make one more pot of popcorn, but first I'm gonna mention to the grown-ups that things like this, um, little thing that we're doing with the scarves, we've, if you come to story time or participate in story time regularly, you'll know that we repeat this one a lot. We do the shaker song every single week um, and so sometimes it can seem boring, um, but you probably know this already. Kids beg you to read the same book over and over and over again. Um, they love repetition, and the repetition is good because it helps um, cement things in their mind. So not that they need to cement the popcorn song in their mind, um, but the songs and the rhymes that we do, especially the ones that have rhymes like... Um, popcorn in the pot, shake it till it's hot, then what have you got? Um, it reinforces the sounds of words. So even if we do it all the time, it still um, does a really, really good job of building up that early literacy skill um, of paying attention to language. So the more they hear the same thing over and over, um, the more those sounds become a permanent part and a, a secure and strong part of their vocabulary, even if they're silly words. Um, and somehow I don't know how I'm not sick of the shaker song. I do it I, thousands of times I've done it and I'm still not sick of it. I can't understand that. Um, maybe it's because I'm actually a child at heart. Enough talking. Let's make one more pot. Popcorn. Pop, pop, pop. Put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Popcorn! 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 Did you make a big mess on the floor with all that popcorn? Let's clean it up, right? And now, my friends, it is time for us to say goodbye. But you know how we always say goodbye, and that is with our bubbles. So if you have bubbles at home, you can blow them. If you're not allowed to blow them inside, you can take them outside. If you don't have any inside or outside, that's okay. Follow along with the bubbles that I will blow for you and see if you can pop any or pretend on the screen. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles.
goes way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. I just watched a bubble fall into my coffee. I better cover it. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. And the speaker says goodbye till next time too. Thank you so much for joining me. I love spending time with you every week. And I hope that you will join me again next week. Goodbye, my friends. Um. Something popped up and is hiding the end live button. So I'm hanging out for a few more minutes while I try to figure out how to get rid of this. We'll see. Hmm. Here we go. Now I'm really saying goodbye. Goodbye, my friends.